Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video I'm going to show you Scribefire. This is a blogging utility which is an add-on for the Mozilla Firefox browser. Some of you out there may have used Windows Live Writer and it is arguably the best blocking tool you can possibly use, but if you happen to be in the Linux environment or maybe Mac OS X you can't use Windows Live Writer and this Scribefire is probably the number two most used because it's just really good. Firefox obviously is multi-platform, you can use it on Linux, Mac OS X or Windows, so this will work. In this example I'm going to show you how to set it up with a Zanga blog, X-A-N-G-A, -A. some of you may have heard of that and it's a popular blogging uh, platform. You could also use it with TypePad or WordPress um, or Blogger, that's uh, one offered by Google, but uh, I'm going to use Scribefire here just to show you what it's about. To install Scribefire, you go to install Scribefire now on the um, Scribefire homepage, which is at scribefire.com, and then you just add it to Firefox. But let's just say you've already had it set up here, and you wanted to add in a blog. It does include multiple account support too, which is good. So this is small icon down here for Scribefire, and I click it, and it splits the screen. And what I can do here first, assuming you have not already added a blog account in here. I'm just going to launch the account wizard and I'm going to put in my test blog on Zanga and then it's going to ask me for my username and password and that's it. It's successfully logged in and it's all set to use so then it adds the account and I will see my account here on the right. What I can do is just select the account and then just title it first. I'll just put test post and I'll say this is a test post. You can also do things as you would in a word processor such as bold, italic, and underline. Colors are right here. You can add in a YouTube video if you want to really easily. But I'm just going to keep this one simple. And then when I'm all set here um, I'll just scroll down a little bit and then I will publish and I will publish as new and go ahead and do that. You can see a little animation that it is publishing and that's it. And I can do view this blog and then let me just get rid of it in the little X here. We'll get rid of Scribefire and there's my test post and I did it completely from within Firefox which is great. Now what's also pretty cool about this is that there are tabs in Scribefire. For example, if I want to see my past entries here, I can go to Entries, there's Categories, some options. You can modify timestamps, uh, do things of that sort. There are also some options on the left that you want to take into consideration. Actually, before I touch those, these up here you should be familiarized with because there's the uh, Standard Editor, which is a WYSIWYG, and then there's this one, which is just raw code. And then there's this one, which is the Preview, and it gives you a little notice that says, would you like to use Scribefire's live preview feature to see how your post would look in your blog's template. Sure. And then after that it would show you what it would look like. That's with the entire template loaded. Which is actually pretty good, especially if you have custom templates. It'll load the whole thing in there and you can see it. So that's that. Now these on the left here, this is uh, the editor. This one is a feature called InLinks. Um, which it says are static advertisements located within content areas of websites and blah 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 blah. It is simply the most natural paid link on the market. It's if you want to make a few extra bucks with your blog you can use in links. Then there is uh, sharing options and then the configuration opens a new window. You can go to general formatting, FTP publishing and synchronization. There's stuff here you can read up about. And then there's an information tab. This goes to the Scribefire website. For example, the news right now is that image uploads, excuse me, to Blogger, which is the Google service, are broken. And uh, that was something like either one or two weeks ago. And it lets you know that this is an actively updated software title, which is good. Um, that's about it. It, it. If you can't use Windows Live Writer for whatever reason, this is what I would recommend to use as Scribefire. Um, for those of you that see this and says, wasn't this called performancing? Yes, it was. This was uh, performancing before, and it's Scribefire now. 
if you remember performancing, this is what it turned into. And uh, did a pretty good job, I must say. That's it. Take it easy.